Yo guys, what is going on? Today, we're gonna texture fingerprints on glass. This is why I've left this like blank. So, this is gonna be an upcoming project that I've got some time lapses of, of building an iPhone 12, which I'll show you at the end of the video. I'll give you some snippets. Let's jump ahead first into this tutorial. First, go click new. And we're just going to start off with the, um, the standard principle shader. And we're going to turn this roughness down to around about 120, 130 maybe. We're going to take this and bring it right down to around about 150. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in a Vrono texture and we're going to duplicate this. Also guys, we've got to go over the edit key and we're going to preferences. We're going to make sure Node Wrangler is on for this tutorial is we're going to be needing it. Then I'm going to click here and go Control T and it's going to bring up a mapping node. This mapping node is quite important, especially having the object connected because this is an object and if you were to apply it onto another thing, I don't know, like a sphere that is a glass ball, it would need to have all the mapping done correctly and that gets sorted out by the object. And then we want to get this vector. We want to connect this vector to this vector. And then we want to change this F1 to smooth F1. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go and get a math node and just put it there. So then we're going to get the distance and plug the distance into this value. And the same for this one. Then we're going to go subtract. And then this is going to get plugged into the base color. And as you see, we've got some um, looking like cracks in the screen. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're just going to select everything. I'm going to hit G and we're just going to move it over. And then we're going to select this math node and we're going to duplicate it and we're just going to drop it back on that line. And then we're going to change this subtract to less than. And what we're going to do here is I'm just going to save it again. But what we're going to do is bring this threshold down. And as you go up, it's going to start like laying like for instance, big fingerprints on here. But we need to take it right down to. It was 0.05 maybe. So guys, what we need to do is we need to, and what we need to do is start distorting this so that we kind of get our fingerprints on the screen. So what we're really going to need to add in now is a Musgrave. And this isn't going to be 100% fingerprints, guys. This is going to be just kind of semi-close, you know, suggesting it. From a distance, from a quick glance, it looks like fingerprints, but if you look closely, then it won't be. So, what we're going to need to also do is add in a mix RGB. And then we'll get the object and we'll put it in the color 2. And obviously, as you bring it up, it bypasses Musgraves and that goes straight through the Musgrave. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to change this from mix to subtract so these both work together and we're going to bring her up. Now we're going to work with this Musgrave and we're going to change the um, to ridged multi fractal and we've got to bring the scale up, bring it right on up. So guys what we need to do is um, kind of break this up a bit because it looks quite hard. So we're going to add in a white noise. It down anywhere and we're gonna get it and then we're gonna drop it here and now you've seen it's a lot kind of smoother and we also need a mix RGB and we're gonna drop it right there and yep yeah, we're gonna get this object and we're gonna plug it right into the number two and now we're just gonna bring it right on up and as you see they're really bright you know they're big they're bright they're just there but we can fix that with color up Cover up. I'm going to drop it here and what we're going to do is we're going to change this white, bring this white down and it will hopefully bring out the um, kind of scrub out how um, how sharp all these fingerprints are. So this is you know mostly it. And uh, hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, drop a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, guess what? Still drop a thumbs up. Comment down below what you'd like to see in some upcoming videos. 
does help out a lot. If you've got any ideas or anything that you want me to try and build, I'd love to give it a go. So let me know in the comments down below. So until next time, peace and have a good one. Also guys, some behind the scenes footage of me building this phone. So hope you guys enjoy, sit back and enjoy the time lapse.